All right, what are we doing here? We got another woman. It's the evil world we live in. It's the evil world we live in. All right, what do we got here? Appreci- apparently, this is why women won't have sex with their husbands. Oh, my goodness. All right, you guys ready for this? Are you ready? <laughs> okay, this is why. Y'all ready for this? This is why women don't have sex with their husbands. All right, here we go. Then that women stop having sex with their husbands and I know what's coming in the comment section and I don't care because I have to spit the truth. And yes, I do know what I'm talking about. I know, Stuart, you're going to comment and say, well, maybe it's this, this, and this, and you're going to get kind of mad about what I have to say, but here's the deal. I have a doctorate in social psychology. I've spent my entire adult life studying romantic relationships, the science of romantic relationships, both studying the science as well as publishing in the science. And so I am very well versed in this topic, not to mention that I've seen thousands of clients and heard from thousands of women about why they want And get to it, man. I ain't got all day. Get to get to the studies. Have sex with their husbands. So, you know, Joe, if you know better, for sure put it in the comments, but I think I have some credibility. And if this is a problem in your relationship, you might want to humble yourself and take a seat and hear what I have to say. The primary reason why women stop having sex with their husbands is because they don't feel emotionally safe. And the reason that they don't feel emotionally safe is because their attachment needs are not being met inside of their relationship. Attachment needs are our deepest needs inside of a romantic relationship. And if those things are not fulfilled, we will not feel emotionally safe. And especially for women, when there is a lack of emotional safety, they start feeling very unsafe, giving their bodies to their partner. And I cannot say that she's wrong. However, I, I, I might have to hear her out. I understand. Remember, I'm about understanding women, and I'm going to say I understand. Now, there, there's a point I'm going to make on that, which she is actually, she's not wrong, but I want to hear what else she got to say. All right, so I can't fuck my wife <laughs> that I have in this house, you know what I mean? But, okay, all right. But why does she have sex with Chad and Tyrone while married? Can you tell me why she has sex with Chad and Tyrone who doesn't support her? But then when I'm supporting her, barely, you know what I mean? It's rocky. I get it. There's some question marks. She can't give me no pudussy. All right. But we need to, we got partner here. We got another partner. When your partner and your partner, this ain't do si do. This ain't, this ain't, this ain't square dancing. I don't have partners not feel emotionally safe and especially for women when there is a lack of emotional safety they start feeling very unsafe giving their bodies to their partner and they start to feel extremely unattracted to their partner ma'am you you missed the point i've already i've already uncovered this this is not new groundbreaking material here first of all we already told you women lose interest in monogamous sex early i made the marriage will up i got the marriage will so once she has the investment you're talking about there's no security anymore what about these women okay that just bounce and then they take half the bruh all right uh, uh, let me see what this she got more talking here Man, boy, there's like three minutes left in this video. So I don't know if I can listen to this woman that long, but I'm going to give it. Let me let me hear what else she got to say here. Like they simply can't get physically turned on by their partners anymore. So if you're not familiar with my content, you might be asking, how do I know what their attachment needs are? Well, there's a lot of information about attachment out there. Um, You could dig through my videos and you could probably very easily figure out the attachment style of your partner. Ma'am, you know what? I don't know if I'm going to make it through this video. I don't know. What I, so your needs supersedes his needs. Your partner has a need. You're saying you have a need. His need is to have intimacy and sex with his wife. Matter of fact, that's his legal, only his only legal recourse. If he has sex with another woman that feels secure, it's ground for divorce. So his sexual need is minimal. And your emotional needs trumps that. So that's what you're saying. He has no say. You can't just give him a couple pieces of peace leave. He's just got to be like, well, my needs are more than yours. What else could she do? What, what else is he supposed to do? That's the problem I'm having here. She's justifying it. I can understand it. But nah, we're saying that she can just use something that cannot be measured 
or no barometer or no tangible. There's nothing tangible. She could just say, well, today I don't feel secure and safe. No, no peace leave. Well, tangibly, I can feel some peace leave. I can feel that peace leave on my, never mind. I can feel the sex. I can feel it. I can measure it. I can count it. We can actually time it. I have a tangible need that can be delivered. You have a need that is somewhat flimsy and you can't weigh it. You can't determine if it's going to be there. I can't tell if it's there. You just get to tell me if it's there. You can just do from day to day to day, day to day to day. How long is your emotional needs not? What do I need to do to tangibly satisfy them? Well, let me see here. Mm. (laughs) This is crazy. (laughs) Okay. And then, then. According to you, if you're not feeling secure, no peace leave. And you're going to lose attraction. Can you gain attraction back? I'll let her talk. I'll let her talk. Attachment science has been around since 1958. It's been studied empirically in thousands of empirical studies. Go to PubMed. The studies are out there, okay? Where you can work with me, and I'm happy to assess the attachment of your partner. And here's what you need to know. The different attachment styles have very, very different needs. So knowing the attachment style of your partner is really the keys to the kingdom and getting all your needs met inside of the relationship as well. Knowing the attachment style gives you the keys. While meanwhile, she got the keys to the house, keys to the car, keys to my kid's future. And you're over here, I'm married, and I got to work out the keys. I got to figure out my wife's keys to have sex with her. All right, oh, oh, wrong key. Oh, oh, wrong key. Okay, I got the right key today. Oh, it switched. Wrong key. All right. I got a job to do. (laughs) I'm just going down to the junior college. I'll stay single. If This is my question. Why get married? Why get married? If I can't have sex with another woman, but I got to keep figuring out your key, why marry? And then she gets to be like, nope, wrong key. Mm. (laughs) Oh, by the way, I thought you said she's not attracted anymore, but now there's a key. There's a key to unlock the attract. I thought I'm attracted to her, whether she gets fat or not. Now there's there's a key to her attraction. Man, this is a goofy-ass game. Just say you don't want to have sex, and I can go get me a girlfriend or get me a sugar baby. What the hell? So the anxious preoccupied, their biggest need is... By the way, white women, I'm going to tell y'all what, man. White women are the queens of this bullshit. For some reason, they lock up more punani than any race of women out here. I don't know what it is with white women, but they lock up they punani fast now you do have different types of white women white women that were crystal methanies and party girls and they fornicated and rolled the carousel and then they locked it up or you have women that actually just always been leveraging and saving it and it's pure and special and then they make you wait third 20 to two months three months and then you finally start fucking on her then you be like oh okay i'm gonna rush her down the aisle you marry her and then she lock her punani up for kids after the kids come she lock it up White women be locking their sex up. Then they turn 40, and then they want to be out here with the personal trainer, the massage therapist, Chad, Ray Ray. Then they want to go out there and learn themselves. Then they go on the cock carousel and catch herpes after they're divorced. Like, white women, suburban white women be locking that punani up. (laughs) They be locking the punani up. I don't know what it is with white women. What y'all doing, man? Why y'all be locking y'all stuff up? Like, I, you know, we talk about sexist marriages. These are mostly white women. All right. Every now and then you might have an Asian woman, maybe a black woman, Latina going to screw you, whether you getting along or not, more than likely. They can't go without it. All right. The majority of them, as a general rule, Latinas, you might not have this big of a problem with. Dude, I don't care for stomachs hanging. Oh, she don't. She can have three stomachs and she going to bend it over. She don't care. Latinas seem to get not have this big of an issue. But white women and then and then Asians and then black women, they they be locking they <laughs> they be locking it up, man. I don't know what it is with them, man, but they they 
they be bugging. And then they're like, you got to do this. And princess, they get into their princess. Oh, I'm the pretty, pretty princess. Locking they shit up. All right, they the queens are locking it up. And then they go give it to somebody for free. Give head or something. I normally don't do this. All right, I'm going to do it. Love, affection, and reassurance. So they need lots of reassurance every single day that you love them, that the relationship is stable, and that you are, in fact, appreciative of them. And they really have all the love languages. They just want lots of reassurance of your love, okay? The fearful avoidant, I just did a video on this. Their biggest need is to be able to feel seen, heard, and understood in the relationship, a.k.a. trust you to show up for them in a way that feels good to them. Yeah, man. See, yeah, somebody said they have an inflated sense of self-worth. They think they're the princess. They think they're the queen. Oh, I'm the princess in the movie. And then don't let them dye their hair blonde. Another hair dye right here. I'm the pretty princess. You have to do what I want me to do. Oh, I'm pretty. You got to have to. And, and deep down inside, they not that pretty. Like, take a look at her. Like, listen, if her hair was not blonde, nobody would probably look at her. Now, if she'd be brunette. You'd probably look at her a little bit, and you'd look at her, and she's not that attractive in the face. She just kind of has some qualities that make you my oh, maybe she, okay, no, she not. <laughs> she a little long in the face and in the tooth, and she long-winded. All right, so uh, what are we talking about here? Okay, so really leaning into seeing, hearing, and understanding them and making a lot of space for their feelings is super important. For the dismissive avoidant woman, it's going to be space, autonomy, and lack of criticism, aka peace and harmony inside the relationship. So a lot of times what I see is that women are expressing my emotional needs are not met, aka their attachment needs, and I physically cannot Get turned on by my partner anymore. Hey, man, it, guys, I, black man, I'm going to tell you, you marry a white woman, you're going to see this one. <laughs> I'm just going to let you know. Because ninjas be like, I like white girls. I like pogs. If if you marry one, you're going to see this woman. Just to let you know, guys, it's not going to, and you better not be surprised. This woman is going to show up and tell you all of this psycho babble, and you're going to do the, and I got an, an emotional attachment. Somebody going to, she going to, she went to psychology school. So there's a red flag right there. And they're going to whip out all this science, pseudoscience, and not study one biology book in which I penetrate you. Male desire. Mm. Measure the two. You got psycho pseudoscience babble over here, and I got biology. Biology wins. <laughs> right? Nobody cares about. Right. If you like, if you like flatbacks and this, just to let you know, man, there, this is the trap. This is the trap about white. I know, I mean, hey man, everybody likes some flat backs and some pink toes, but this is the trap. And what happens is this is the, this is the, because I'm talking to the brothers here. What you guys don't know is before this, she was bubbly. She was kind and sweet and thoughtful and, oh, oh, she was nice and cuddly and, oh, snuggle. She was, can I has hug? <laughs> Bruh. They're going to eat, they, and, and, and for the black women, I always be catching hell. Because black women be catching hell because they're so overt with their behavior. It's disgraceful, but they're overt with it. And But the problem with, with black women is that they can't hide their bullshit. You can see it right out in front. That's why when I break down races of women, the thing with black women is they're up front abrasive, but over time they kind of relax. You know what I mean? You might be able to get her, you might be able to, mold her a little bit if she trusts you you might white women is the opposite they're super they get they let your guard down mm, hi i'm just this and i'm simple and oh yep oh i like that barbecue yep whatever you want train me i'll do whatever you want dude i'm gonna tell you bruh five years later she gonna pull the rug from right under your feet you ain't gonna let's know what happened and she you're gonna show up and it's gonna be this bitch it's gonna be her Telling you this and telling you that. Well, I learned and I read in a book and my friend told me and my mother said and my father said. Mm. <laughs> Bruh. Dude, because ninjas be always trying to tell me white women are better. Now, I have a preference, but I'm going to tell you, bro, they can bait and switch you with the best. They bait and switch you soon as they get secure. All right, I got my kids. I got the car. Okay, all right, here we go. Rug pull. And you come home and she telling you this shit. This is what you come home to right here. 
In fact, they start to get disgusted, like they get the ick, so majorly bad. And could you open up your body and allow someone to, like, penetrate your being? If <laughs> Yep, my therapist told me, your therapist gonna ruin your marriage, Ninja. Your therapist gonna ruin your marriage. You marry a white woman, your therapist gonna tort- ka- kaboom your marriage. All right, and so here we go right here. She's talking about open up and letting you in my body. This is her husband she's talking to. She's talking about her husband. Not a date. Open up in your body to your husband. Bitch, we won. We're one flesh. These people crazy, bro. AKA their attachment needs. And I physically cannot get turned on by my partner anymore. In fact, they start to get disgusted. Like they get the ick. So majorly Damn. bad. Right? And could you open up your body and allow someone to like penetrate your being if you feel disgusted by them. She's talking about her husband, gentlemen, gentlemen, this, how cold the game is. She literally talking about her. Husband. As a professor. Wait a minute. Where's that other woman here? Uh, where's the other woman that was talking about? Okay. Yeah. She's talking about her husband, dude. Ninja, it's a wrap. Guys, pe- people think, look at her face, man. This woman is done. Them head meds, she got one eye higher than the other eye. Guys, this is the women I be talking about. And dudes be like, man, coach, man, what's going on? This ain't all women. Yep, that's divorce talk. This divorce, he said that's divorce talk. Meanwhile, she gonna do, you done did almost everything you could and she done had your ass do this, do this, do this. And you did all this shit. And then she's like, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah the beta Brad. She gonna get the beta Brad. That's what I was looking at. She got a beta Brad. Let's, you know why you don't want to have sex with your husband? Because you got a beta Brad. All right, let's turn this down. This is why. And this isn't the same woman. You know why? Because you got a beta. And that's you. You got a beta. And you're not attracted to a beta. But you've gotten everything the beta you can get from him now you come home and you're like i cannot let you into my body oh my Mm -hmm. god imagine oh boy that's the wife you see in divorce court right there that's what you see in divorce court right there and you'd be like coach man no man not my girl not my girl therapist got her the therapist got her warmed up and she's so-called a therapist this is who you see in divorce court. Are you trying to talk sense to her? Are you trying to negotiate with her? <laughs> wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. They feel like they're violating themselves and someone is violating them. And trust me, I do videos on why meeting a man's sexual needs is very important. And so- All right. I want to see that video. Side of a relationship. So I'm definitely not one sided on this. Okay. I'm just trying to share the woman's side here. Yeah. It makes no sense. And I know I may get roasted in the comments by... You got roasted by CGA, you damn right. The men, and I'm expecting it, and I don't care. And none none of my self-esteem comes from what, you know, Bob thinks, right? No, CGA. Um, But I know that I'm going to have a lot of women in the comments shouting, thank you. Yes. Thank you for saying what's been so hard for me to say or what my husband is not hearing. See, guys... (laughs) (laughs) Now, just so you know, gentlemen, I want you to look at this face. And I will look her up. I will give her the benefit of the doubt. I want to hear her other video for the men. Not today, though. I'll save it, and I'll try to look it up later for the next week. This is what I've been warning you about. She's saying the women in the comments say, thank you. That's exactly what I want. That's what we feel. Brothers, now let me just tell you. Do you want to get married to this? If this... If this if you knew this up front, would you get married? The answer is no. Most men are going to be like, what? I ain't putting up with that shit. Because a lot of wives are like, yes, yes, queen. I wonder, does she have her videos out? Okay, I'm going to have to do some. The video was shared over here. Okay, they killing her. They crucifying her, man. <laughs> oh, somebody just said, but she feels safe with Chad, the ex com with a bunch of prison tattoos. <laughs> Uh, this video should be titled, This is Why Men Cheat. <laughs> you, you know what? That That's actually fair. Yep. If, if, if women wanted to know why a man cheats on, her, in his, on his wife, you have a beautiful wife, and she's the mother of your kids. Why did you cheat? 
Refer back to this video. This is why men cheat. <laughs> and these are normies, by the way. As a woman, what she said makes sense. Of course. Yeah. As a man, you would probably never understand. Yes, we need to negotiate this up front, Huffies. Oh, goodness. Yikes. Because imagine you got to come home to this woman. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. I'm telling you, man. Dude, I did it in marriage. This is why this is the stuff I warned you guys about. This is the stuff I warn you about. And you got no, dude, you're behind closed doors. Nobody's going to help you. Nobody's going to talk sensitive to this woman. Nobody's going to say, hey, uh, lady, you know what I mean? Give him a little bit of leg. Nothing. You're going to get into your marital bed and she going to be cold just like the middle of the winter. Like colder than any person has treated you that week. Let me say this. Colder. Married men, put a one in the chat if I'm lying, if I'm not lying. She's going to treat you colder than any person treated you all week long. And this bitch will be in your bed. In your bed. Cold shoulder. Back to you. No kiss, no hug, nothing. And you like, <laughs> you like, oh my God. Yo, I'm telling you, brothers, it don't matter, man. I'm telling you, brothers, you you guys got to watch out for this. This is this is this, this is uh this is the marital trap that I warned you about, right here. All right, let's catch up with some super chats. We do have two more segments, one more before the main event. Yes, it is one more before the main event. But it's an evil world we live in. It's an evil world we live in. If you enjoyed this clip, check me out on the Free Agent Lifestyle channel for the best morning live stream every weekday, and of course. We're back for the evening live streams as well. Check out the times in the feature channels on this channel right here. And also the links are in the description box. I will see you there. New, 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 new world order.